The suspects accused of killing an off-duty LAPD officer have been charged with federal crimes. And that means the four people arrested could now face the death penalty. CBS 2's Kara Finchnam is live at the police station in Pico Union with why authorities went to the feds with the case. Kara, good morning to you. Good morning. We have moved closer to the growing memorial for Officer Fernando Arroyo. So you can see the candles left behind us here, some of the flowers. The 27-year-old was stationed here. He was off duty Sunday night when armed robbers shot and killed him in South L.A. Take a look. The feds are now taking over the lead in this case with all four suspects expected to be handed over to them this morning and to make their first court appearance this afternoon. They are being charged with a federal racketeering statute. The complaint alleges two of them walked up to the off-duty officer and his girlfriend while they were house hunting and stole jewelry and the officer's wallet at gunpoint. Prosecutors maintain they shot Arroyos as the officer pulled his gun and fired. After those charges were announced, the sheriff lashed out at L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon. He says he took the case to the feds because Gascon would not be tough enough. LAPD's chief also spoke. He welcomed the feds on the case. I believe their plan was to just prosecute a simple murder with no gun enhancements, no gang enhancements, nothing. We have a criminal street gang. It's been multi-generational. It's plagued that community. It's plagued the Newton area for decades since I worked Newton in the mid 80s. They were out by our information that I've learned or understand to this point, committing street robberies for the furtherance of that gang. This statute was established specifically to deter that type of organized street gang. Police say one of the suspects, 22-year-old Ernesto Cisneros, an F-13 gang member, was shot by Arroyos during the robbery. Also charged, 34-year-old Jesse Contreras. The feds say he is an F-13 member as well. A third F-13 member, 29-year-old Luis Alfredo de la Rosa Rios, will face racketeering charges in this case as it moves forward. And 18-year-old Haley Marie Grisham is the fourth suspect. The feds say she is a gang associate and the girlfriend of Rios. Investigators believe the suspects took two silver chains from Arroyo's neck. One of them had a sword pendant on it. Officers now looking for those as well as his wallet. They're asking anyone who may have information about them to please contact the sheriff's department. DeMarco, Suzanne, they want to get those items back to the family. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.